Hey everybody and welcome to Wake Up Missoula. I'm your host Scott Ramp. And I'm also your host Noelle McFoy. Good morning everyone and happy Monday morning. Uh, starting our week off today with some girl from Ipanipa from the lovely Asaf Adonai. Thank you. Yeah, thank you Asaf. Well, I was uh, setting up this morning and I uh, it, sometimes it's kind of really awkward to set up because sometimes the sound doesn't exist. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but this morning the sound was like really hot. Like, oh was it? It, it, was, it was pretty hot high. this morning so I, I kind of a little bit adjusted it. The, sound, the audio does sound kind of a little funky to me, personally, but that's just me. I um, think that's just him. And just yeah. me, yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> my microphone, yes. I think Mine sounds good, right. yeah. Yeah. Today on Wake Up Missoula, NPR we're, style. Yeah, we're going to be talking about all sorts of wonderful things. But great things. Do, boop, boop, do, 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 do great things, whoa. Uh, all right, so while I'm talking about whether I want you to do like a like a okay. jazzy um, scat song and then um, you play some little jazz chords now <laughs> and again, okay. I'll have um, no, I'll do in some like, like some distancing. Scatting, yeah. All right, let's talk about weather. So currently it is 31 oh, degrees bah, outside. Oh, bah, sunny. Yeah. It's going to be sunny today. It's going to be about a high of 41 bah, bah, degrees. Bah, bah, 41 and you can see degrees. it's going to be uh, mostly clear. And Tuesday it's going to be sunny. And you can expect all your weather to be into the 40s this week. Are you guys excited because it'll be sunny weather? Oh, yeah, sunny. So sunny. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you guys enjoy that rendition yes, of the weather. Yes. <laughs> okay, and I've got the snow report. <laughs> so, um, Skid -a -doo 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 -doo. snow. So. Okay, so it looks like Whitefish has got zero new inches of snow. Uh, 44 inches on their lower base depth, 91 inches on their upper. Blacktail's got zero new inches of snow, 34 inches on their lower base depth, 80 inches on their upper. Snowball also has got no new snow, 40 inches on their lower base depth, 74 inches on their upper. Lost Trail once again, no new snow, 60 inches on their lower base depth, 73 inches on their upper. Um, and then our last one is Discovery. And once again, zero new inches of snow. 35 degree inches wow. uh, on their lower base depth, 50 inches above. So it's been pretty dry. As you guys all saw yesterday, we had a gorgeous bluebird day. Yes. Um, and from the weather we just saw, it's going to continue to be gorgeous. And it was so. a great day for the Super Bowl last night as the um, Denver Broncos edged in Panthers. for uh, a win. They did, yes. Super Bowl L, or as they totally call it now, 50. Oh, wow. Because oh. otherwise, they don't want to like have a, a giant um, shirt that says Super Bowl L. L. Because yeah. L is associated with losers. <laughs> 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 but um, yes, I know a lot it of- It was a 24 to 10 against yes. the Carolina Panthers, mm. and apparently they could not deal with the pressure of being a once defeated team. They did a really well season, mm -hmm. but when it comes to, to the big game, they just, just a bunch of babies. Yep. Yes, I know a lot of Broncos fans, so I know they're all very excited. I'm very excited for all of you guys. Now that football Broncos. is officially over. We can get on to basketball. And March Madness is coming up, so we can Ooh. go. And who's excited for the Fantastic Four? Not the bad one, but it's the final four, Fantastic Four. Yeah, no idea. <laughs> no clue. Movies, basketball, no idea. No, it's, right it's all of the greatest. But of course, <laughs> you can watch all the live streams of Sentinel High School's um, a live broadcast of volleyball, basketball, all sorts of great stuff that are happening um, yep. from Sentinel. Yeah, so. I think I mean, it's pretty great that we're doing that. It's It must be fun for parents too, to be able to just like see their kid on TV rather yeah. than having to go to the game or like even grandparents and stuff like that. Yeah, it's great. We've got a lot of great services. But we also have a lot of great programming. Yes, we do have Tell some us about this, great Scott. programming as well. But I do want to get to um, a concert last Saturday. Um, I, I shot the Endathon um, concert from um, um, KBGA mm -hmm. and uh, we have a little tease from that um, so in case you guys missed it. Of course if you guys were willing to actually buy tickets for like $23 th <laughs> then um, you're crazy because then you can watch it later on MCAT which will be on but I gave you guys the taste first of Endathon which will, will be on MCAT probably a month, a month and a half from now. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to give you a little taste of that music and um, when we come back, we'll talk about what's new on MCAT. Cool.
So yeah, there's a little taste of your uh, KPGA um, musical guests that they got. They got people from all over the place to talk about, um, you know, all cool. sorts of. Uh, I mean, they got th that band was from Portland. Yeah, they I had some totally really forgot nice the name of the band. Chill indie rock. I like that. Yeah. That was really nice. Definitely a Portland band. Yeah, totally Portland. But that's a, that was <laughs> there was an ah oh, man, I don't remember half the bands that was there. There's like Under the Stairs, which is a people rap group. under the stairs. Uh, it was called People Under the Stairs. Oh, and they're rap, right? Yeah, they were rap, okay, and they're cool. they're from LA. And there was another group actually from like Helena. It was a white <laughs> oh, rapper Farch. guy. How Farch. was he? He was really good. Because I've heard Farch is from Helena, and he's been like making a name for himself. And yeah, he's, and he's so white, good. But I've heard that he's really, really good. Yeah, he's just he's amazing. Cool. He's he, he gets the crowd going. That's it's all it really takes. Yeah. And then like <laughs> get your fan base first. Yeah. <laughs> it was it was uh, he had a saxophone player. Cool. The saxophone player was kind of playing in the corner. It was like Wah! it was like I was just recording it and like there's sometimes when the audio was kind of like wonky yeah. a little bit and hi, the saxophone's audio was like very prevalent. <laughs> Performance. I was like, oh, there's that saxophone. Like, it, and when I took off my headphones, it was like, it, it, it was like blending well, but the saxophone was like extremely loud oh. in <laughs> in my ear. But that's definitely what I know this stuff. That's but, another audio thing. You know. It's just Scott. Yeah. Scott's got the ears. <laughs> <laughs> it's really hard to actually listen to any of this music because you have the music blazing live, and you're trying to listen to it when you're trying to um, live record mm -hmm. it with a multi-cam system and stuff like that. Yeah, it's difficult. <laughs> it was a lot of work, but it did turn out very well, and the sound was really well. And I do got to give out to the shout out to Stage One Twelve's audio guy for giving me um, hit the audio line, and he, it, it was pretty yeah. clean. It was pretty good. Was it good? Mm -hmm. Nice. But you heard it. It was fairly yeah. clean. And it, it sounded was, great. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, so of course, um, new programming. Um, you can find out more information about us before we get into new, new programming. I want to talk more about our social networking website. Our website is called wickamazoola.wix.com slash wickamazoola. You can find videos and more on our website. Of course, I am going to post on our music page this clip, the whole um, the whole song just for you guys. Um, also, you can find it on our Facebook page. You should totally like us mm -hmm. there. You can follow us, Wake Up Missoula, at Wake Up Missoula. I'm so glad I did took it first. <laughs> you can like Missoula Community Access Television on Twitter as well at MCAT TV Missoula. You can like us on Facebook as well as to find out more information about us you can check us out on MCAT.org. Yes and of course our summer programs mm -hmm. are in full swing. You guys can start signing up and register right now. I mean there's no like we never did any pre-register. You know how like there's always like ah, yeah pre-register is like no just, just register. Yeah. Well, The, the, the whole point of pre-register is like made up. Mm -hmm. It's like, oh, you can pre-register right now and get a, a free uh, downloadable content of, uh -huh. of Batman wearing a tutu. <laughs> yeah, just for you, kid. <laughs> well, that's what they do. They do yeah. it all the time. It's like, if, well, if you pre-order now, <laughs> the, extra t the, extra the extra $50 that would be actually going something into. something you don't need. Pre-order yeah. now. Yeah. Yeah, so, but it should be good. I'm yeah. excited. So there's no pre-register. There's no, like, oh, you, if you're early enough. So it's like $110 for a whole week. And plus, we're adding an extra uh, special camp, which Four is going to be an all-day camp. For it's not even a kids. camp. It's we would not even call it a camp. It's Club. like a workshop. Zombie film workshop. Program. It's about, it's going to be zombies. So we're going to do makeup in the morning and then zombie filming in, yeah. in the afternoon, filming the movie. And so we're trying to pertain it, pertain it to the teens <coughs> it's, and get the teens so we can't do camp. It, we it, just have to say club. It's it's like, or workshop. Uh, it's like you can't say club, you can't say camp. Because workshop, zombie every, film these workshop. Words, these the the words that you hear like you can't even say butt because kids can't say butt in school anymore. No. Like back in the day they could say ass, but now they can't say butt. <laughs> now they can't say that. They can't say anything. <laughs> it's like it's, there's a stipulation on what you can't say for, because if you say it enough times and then there's one kid that ruins it for everybody and then that's it, I mean that's how. Come on, Chad. So I guess you have to do that. It'll be a while before uh, programs. Uh -huh. like, it's like summer programs. Yeah, great. It's summer programs mm -hmm. is pretty uh, logical and makes sense, but um, it's yeah. gonna change. Next year will be summer experience. Oh, the Ooh. summer experience. Yes. Yeah. I know we have to use all these hot flashy words to get the kids these days. But not boring words like camps, clubs, or butt. Workshop. <laughs> workshop. Because workshop work is cool. No, no, no. Zombie work, film work, workshop. Shop. All right. All right. Yeah. Work. It's got work in it. It's yeah. not like work. Yeah. What it Okay, zombie film experience. Yeah. That sounds Well, good. zombie movie. Zombie film movie. A zombie movie program? Zombie movie program. Yeah, okay. Okay. Well, that's we it. On. Okay, so <laughs> you guys have... can you guys can give us suggestions. <laughs> but of course we only have one new program this next oh. two days. Of course we probably do we have a bunch of new programs happening, of course, but we'd be mm -hmm. shooting them. Um, school board is happening tomorrow. 
at 6 p.m. and also tomorrow at 7.30 p.m. on our channel 189, we have a community needs assessment. And of course, here's a little tease on what you guys can expect for tomorrow night at 7.30. And when we come back, we'll have Noelle McAvoy. That's With her. With events. Results of our survey. As you can see on this slide, we asked people what organization that they were affiliated with, if anything. And of the 197 people who completed the survey, the largest group were part of nonprofit organizations. Next was individuals who are not, not part of an agency, and then people who work in city or county government. One thing I would like to note as well, we realize that these are not going to be easily seen, especially if you're in the back. So we are going to be providing um, handouts of this later when we're doing our small group. So if people want to look at it more in depth, that's a possibility. And we're also going to be putting this up on our website tomorrow. So if you want to come back and look at this later, you're always welcome to. All right. That was, that sounds great. Yeah. So I've got some events for you guys. All right. So starting today at uh, 9.30 a.m. over at Mismo Gymnastics, as always on Mondays, we've got our family fun time. This is an open gym for ages walking to 12 years of age. Um, and then also at 10 a.m., this is an all-day affair happening at the Missoula Public Library. It's their open time in their maker space. Their maker space is where they um, have different electronic platforms that you can go in there and work on different projects that you'd like to. So it's open from 10 a.m. to 6. So you can pop on in there, learn how to use the equipment, or work on a project of your choice. Over at Roots Acro Sports Center, they've got a preschool playgroup starting at 11. So this is an open gym um, for ages walking to five years, so it's a younger crowd. They set up different ac activities and stations around the gym, and then parents and children get to rotate and choose what they want to do. It's $8 to drop in and $12 for siblings. Over at the Double Tree Hotel, um, starting at 11 to 30 a.m. today, is the City Club Missoula Forum. So this is the state of the community. This happens every year, mm -hmm. and um, it pretty much gives Missoula residents and guests residents and guests the chance to hear from three leaders in local government and higher education as they look back through the year. Okay, here's the thing. City Club, relax, ser seriously, because um, you got uh, you got State of the City, yep. and now you have State of the Community. It's like, come on, just kind of put it all together in once and just yeah, get it over with. just do one event. Yeah. Yeah. All right, yeah, so that's <laughs> happening. Thanks, Scott. Yeah, that's my so that's, statement for that's today. That's Scott's statement. Uh, yeah, so it's just going to be a bunch of short talks, about 10 minutes each, about 10 minutes each, about Missoula, and then followed will uh, be opportunity to ask questions. So uh, the mayor is going to be talking, County Commissioner Cola Rowley, and then um, United University President Roy Sangstrom. Yeah, her name's Nicole Rowley. Nicole Rowley. <laughs> I don't know why she goes by Cola. Oh, interesting. Huh. Okay. Like what, what? It's like I can totally imagine like she was holding a, a, a can of cola and just like your cola now. It's like no. <laughs> Why? <laughs> that's pretty. It just stuck. Yeah. yeah. That's, my, that's my justification. It's like I, I don't know how you can get cola from Nicole. I don't either. Well, cool. But it has to have a story. Yeah. Yeah. She was a wild woman back in the day for her county commissioner days. She yeah, biker like, chick. Like no, not many people know that Noel is short for uh, No No Ellensworth. Mm -hmm. No Ellensworth. Because I'm from England. Yep. No Ellensworth, uh, <laughs> Catherine um, the Heigl. second. Heigl the second. <laughs> Queen Queen Heigl the second. <laughs> My favorite part is the high goal part. <laughs> <laughs> it's a family name, yeah. whatever. <laughs> it, it's not like it means anything. No. Yeah, because it doesn't. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> um, Bridge Group is happening at the Missoula Senior Center at 1 p.m. This is for the Beginners Brush Up Group. And then Duplicate Bridge, you know, our, our, our mysterious Duplicate Bridge friends over at Garden City Duplicate Bridge Club uh, starting at 1 p.m. It's ACBL Sanction Club. I have no idea what that means. Uh, but they now have a website. So go to MissoulaBridge.org to find out more information. Nothing makes me feel good than an uh, abbreviation of something. Yeah, me too. Uh, over at the Public Library, they've got their electronics exploration. This is also in the makerspace, and I would think that it's pretty much just like their drop-in open time that I talked about earlier. Um, you can uh, work on projects that you want to and check out their electronic platforms, and that's open from until 6. Uh, over the Top Hat Lounge, they've got their live recorded shows of the Grateful Dead from the 60s, 70s, 80s, and 90s. Two hours of awesome Grateful Dead music. They also have trivia and drink specials. 
uh, over at the Starving Artist Cafe and Art Gallery up on South Reserve. They're having Monday Night Bingo. It starts at 5. St. Patrick Hospital is hosting a discussion, uh, Climate Change, the Public Health Challenge of Our Time. This is sponsored by the American Lung Association in Montana and the Institute of Health and Humanities. Uh, speaker, speakers Dr. Robert and, and Dr. Lori Bryan uh, will present on climate change as a significant public health challenge and how cutting carbon emissions will reduce health risks. Over at Shakespeare and Company, uh, there is going to be a reading from a collection of short novels or short works by Josh Wagner and Sean Mihalik. Uh, Josh Wagner is going to be reading from his collection called Nothing in Mind, joined by Sean Mihalik, which will be reading from his novella, The Assured Expectations of Things Hoped For. Ooh. Yeah, starts at six. Should be pretty cool. Over at the Public Library, they've got a beginning intro to Word class. Um, so if you want to learn how to create a document, manipulate text and font, um, and you know write something up for a report, registration is required, 721-2665, 6 p.m. in their computer classroom. Over the UM Gallagher Business Building, uh, they have got a discussion. This sounds like it's going to be pretty interesting. Um, it's called Berkeley Pitt Searching for Drugs in Peculiar Places. So uh, they are pretty much, so they're talking about some of the research that this woman, Andrea Styrel, and her and her husband slash collaborator have explored with the fungi and bacteria surviving and thriving in this acid mine waste lake. Cool. Yeah. So it's pretty much just going to be about how there's all this fungi and bacteria surviving in the Berkeley pit, and this woman and her husband have discovered um, and are learning and doing research about it. Yeah. That sounds really cool. So that's going to be in the UM Gallagher Business Building, room L14. Uh, starts at 7.30. And then my last event for today, Monday, we've got Blues Monday at the Badlander at 9 p.m. And up next, we've got a staff segment. But before we get to that, uh, oh, yes. Barnard Milltown is tonight at 7 at the uh, Barnard Milltown School. So if you mm -hmm. guys are interested in Bonner, you can go check it out. Yeah, great. Sweet. Well, here we go again with yet another king. Nice. So far, I've done two kings. I did the king of cool, Steve McQueen, the king of golf, Arnold Palmer. And now we have a third king. And this is the king of the Las Vegas Strip. And we're talking about Carson Wayne Newton, known to the world as Wayne Newton. <laughs> yeah. Wayne Newton is an American singer entertainer, one of the best known entertainers in Las Vegas to this very day. He has many nicknames, Mr. Midnight Idol, Mr. Las Vegas, Mr. Entertainment, and Mr. Donka Shane himself. Let's show that clip of him singing his signature song. <laughs> You know, if, if you're a performer and you have a certain song that seems to follow you throughout your entire career, and in Wayne Newton's case, it was Donka Shane. And people flocked into his concerts in those early years, as today, to watch this man sing this song somewhere in his concert. <clears throat> to tell you a little bit about him, in his early years, he started out playing the piano, guitar steel, guitar at the age of six. He performed with his brother, Jerry. They did, um, like fairs and early concerts. And then by um, Newton's uh, junior year, he was seen by a Las Vegas booking agent. Jeez. And uh, you know, he started singing and that's the way he looked in his early years singing. Eventually, movie stars like Lucille Ball, Danny Thomas, George Burns, Jack Benny, they all lend their support to help launch this guy's career off. And, uh, <clears throat> excuse me. In 1972, he sold over a million copies with a song called Daddy Don't You Walk So Fast. And he was awarded a gold, it was awarded a gold disc by RIAA in July of 72. And um, 
In 1992, over the years, he hit number one again in the Cash Box Pop and Country charts with an Elvis song called The Letter. And by 1994, he performed 25,000 solo shows in Las Vegas. Wow. So this is just a flyover. It'd be impossible to talk about everything this man has ever done over the years in this short amount of time. But this is just a flyover of our latest king. King Wayne Newton. <laughs> and what's interesting is when I was about your age, Scott. Uh, My age? Yes, I played in Vegas at that Aww. time, and Wayne Newton was dominating then. He had his name on the marquee, like the Riviera Hotel, <laughs> and I played a few hotels away from him, so it was did pretty you? cool. Cool. Yes, I did did I you did. ever wow. see him? No, I never got to see him in concert. His, his concerts aren't cheap. I'm sure. <laughs> and I'm not Liberace. I don't have a zillion dollars yet. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> I bet he's got very expensive <laughs> So I had to settle for watching him on uh, television and all the movies he's probably done over the years and the cover songs he's done. Mm -hmm. He's just done it all. He can play trumpet. He can do it all. Nice. So I'll leave it at that. Cool. Thanks, Asa. Sure. As musical notes with Asa, I don't know. All right. Up next, we've got uh, stuff going on tomorrow. This is uh, starting at 9 a.m. Uh, over at Kearns Aquatic Center, they are a meeting for a winter walking tour and coffee meet. Uh, they're going to be walking around Blue Mountain. Um, and then after they, their walks, they uh, drink some, you know, hot drinks. So dress for winter outdoor activity. Visit www.missoulaparks.org for more information on this walk. Um, it's Tuesdays from 9 to noon, and it's only five bucks. Over at the Public Library, they've got Tiny Tales starting at 10.30. Uh, this is a unique program that is uh, for babies ages birth through three years. Um, so they sing songs, learn finger plays, and nursery rhymes and hear stories. Pretty sweet. Uh, the Bubble Table at the Children's Museum of Missoula is happening at 11 to 11.30 tomorrow. So you can bring your kids down and just do lots of bubble things. It sounds awesome. Yoga Warriors is at the Learning Center at Red Willow. Um, this is a yoga program designed for veterans and their families to help with PTSD, anxiety, and sleeping disorders. That starts at 4. Oh, wow. We jumped from 11 to 4. You guys yeah, take nothing, a nap. Literally nothing happens. I know. Between, you, guys, like, you guys should take a nap between 11 and 4. <laughs> nothing happens between like 1 and 4. Anytime. Like literally it's anytime. True. It's nap time. Yeah. It's, it's like perfect, homework time. It's like perfect nap time. It's ha nap time and homework time. Yep. Nothing exciting. It's always like mornings, lunch, and then late evening. Yeah. It's stuff going on. Yep. yep. That's true. Yeah. All right. Over at 6 o'clock. At 6 o'clock at the Lifelong Learning Center, they're having a beekeeping and hive management class. Um, this is a continuation of the Beekeeping Basics course. You'll learn specific management skills for setting up and maintaining your hive throughout all seasons, caring for your bees, and harvesting your honey. At the Top Hat Lounge, they've got their picking circle. This is for bluegrass-oriented musicians to go on down and jam out from 6 to 8. At the Public Library, there's a Community Creative Writing Workshop at 6 p.m. It's a drop-in environment focused on the creative writing workshop process from 6 to 7.30 in the Makerspace. Good Food Store's got a cooking class. Uh, Mardi Gras is going to be their theme. $35, uh, starts at 6.30. They are making Cajun Spice Fried Oyster Salad, New Orleans-style shrimp with rosemary biscuits, Cajun stew, shrimp etouffee, uh, Creole bread pudding with bourbon sauce, and you can call 541-3663 to register. Yeah, it sounds good. Over at the Public Library, they've got System Check. This is the official gamers club for ages 19 and under. Uh, starts at 6.30, they have card games, video games, board games, all the games you could want, but no gambling, kids. <laughs> uh, at 7 p.m. is Rocky Mountaineers meeting at the trailhead. Uh, Joshua and Susanna Phillips present a Denali Ascend by the West Buttress Route. I don't know what that means. But it's free and open to the public. More info at RockyMountaineers.com. Yeah, I mean, a buttress. Yeah. Uh, over at the Public Library, they've got their second Tuesday Missoula Public, Li Missoula public Library br book group. I don't know why that was so hard to say. It starts at 7. Um, they're, they're discussing If Not For This by Pete Fromm. In the boardroom. That's where they're going. Uh, adult TNT, the adult tumble and trampoline, is going to be at Roots Acro Sports Center at 7.30 to 8.30. Ages uh, 16 and up, and it's $8 to drop in. And then Dr. Dog is playing at the Wilma Theater at 8 p.m. I do believe there's still tickets. 
And then there's open kayak at Currents at Currents Aquatic Center at 8 p.m. So it's uh, ages 14 under need to have direct adult supervision, but you can go in there and, you know, practice. Uh, it costs $3 to $6.50 depending on age. But that's what's going on in your community. As always, you can check out MissoulaEvents.net, the University of Montana website, the independent or at the Missoulian. Now it's time for my second favorite segment of the show. <laughs> the end of it. Oh, I was like, oh my God, do we have it prepared? No, 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 no it's the don't. end, it's the end. It's, it is. It's well, um, thanks for joining me, guys. If you want to find out more information, you can log on to our, our website, wakeupmissoula.wix.com slash wakeupmissoula. It's so nice for me to spell it out twice, and you can like us on Facebook. Follow us on Twitter. You can like Missoula Community Access Television on Twitter. You can like us on Facebook. And check us out at mcat.org. Yep, and we're still open registration for our summer camps. We already have two people signed up, and it's already February. And summer cool. camps start in late June. Who knows? It's crazy. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> but thanks for joining me, um, and I hope you guys have a great morning, because I know have I a sure great day. will, because I get to go back to sleep eventually. Sky gets to sleep. I don't. Yeah, I look forward to sleeping, and um, I'm sure you look forward to going to school. I can't wait. Yeah, because it's your last semester ever. Woo! <laughs> oh, sorry. All right, take it away, <laughs> Thanks for tuning in with us. My name's Noel McAvoy. And I'm Scott Ramp. Here's Asaph. Thanks for joining us. Wake up, Missoula.